Now let's talk some education news tonight and and of course and career readiness test scores have been released by the South Carolina Department of Education for schools across our state to show how students are doing at the end of the year. So News 19's Shelly Garzon looked into that report to see how the trends were looking for our students. We are doing better overall with English 1 or the English 2 exams. So the English EOC scores to me look higher across the board for everyone. Sherry East, the president of the South Carolina Education Association, tells me EOC subject teachers have a unique experience when it comes to test scores. These biology teachers and English one teachers and algebra teachers, they're getting scores back in the summer or at the beginning of the next school year. There's nothing they can do to help those students. And there's also no feedback given on what standards or what parts of the biology test I need to work on as an educator. What parts didn't my students pass? What parts do I need to make sure that they do better on next time? According to the scores released by the South Carolina Department of Education, the passing rate across the state in Algebra 1 improved from 45% in 2023 to 51% in 2024. English 2 passing rates increased from 67% in 2023 to 70% in 2024. Lexington 1 and Lexington Richland 5 achieved the state's 75% proficiency goal for English 2. I think it can be attributed to, to two things. First of all, the commitment of our teachers both to the success of their students and to their own professional growth and also to um, the district's strong focus on literacy. Mary Gaskins is the chief academics officer for Lexington One School District. She says this improvement is over years of work. While we're seeing the success in English too, it's built on years of meaningful instruction in both reading and writing. Um, and our English two teachers who are very talented are building on a strong foundation of um, reading and writing skills. So building on that strong foundation and then continuing continuing that momentum to help students continue to excel. In a statement, the South Carolina Superintendent Ellen Weaver says, while I'm heartened by the promising progress made on the EOC EP Algebra 1, English 2, and Biology 1 tests, looking ahead, I am particularly motivated to work with local educators to address persistent gaps in civic understanding and meaningful career readiness. I would like to remind parents too that your child is more than a test score. You know, they may have passed biology or passed history, but not passed that EOC. That doesn't mean they didn't learn any biology that year. It doesn't mean they didn't learn. Shelly Garzone, News 19, WLTX.